Hey guys, Nor from AP Shield here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the chrome trim and the side view mirror off a Tesla Model 3. First, what we want to do is tape up underneath all the chrome trim. We're going to put a little a bit of uh, masking tape or painter's tape if we have that. I try avoiding the painter's tape just because it does have a little bit of an acidity to it and it might leave a little bit of uh, etching inside the clear coat of the paint. So if you have actual detailing tape or plastic tape that's going to be safe for the paint, use that. Put a strip of the tape along the bottom edge of the chrome trim. Once we have that, we're going to open up the door and then I'm going to push over here and I'm going to have a plastic pry tool using uh, using that I'm going to pry along the bottom area that's taped down and then what I'm going to do is pull the chrome molding as I'm prying with the plastic pry tool. Just give it a little bit of pressure. You don't want to pull too fast or too hard. This aluminum trim is pretty soft, so if you pull it too hard, you can actually bend it or you can actually scratch the paint. So the slower you go at it, it will come out. It is a little bit of a pressure fit in there, so just give it a little bit of a tug. For the front door, same thing. We're going to add a little bit of masking tape along the bottom of the chrome just to protect the painted area of the door. And then I'll open the door and start from the back of the door towards the back of the car. Push with your fingers using a plastic pry tool slowly and gently help assist the molding to come out and eventually it will come out. Okay. So now that we have the bottom of the window chrome trim removed, I'm gonna move, uh, move on and remove the upper piece of the chrome trim. It's actually very simple to remove. All we're gonna have to do is open up the door tug the weather stripping out a little bit and that'll expose on the front door five Torx number 20 screws. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Along the back there's three of them. One, two, three. Same thing. We're just going to remove the weather stripping, pull it down. Comes out actually very simple and that'll expose the screws, remove these screws, and then the whole weather stripping will just slide right out. All right, so now that we have all the bolts out, the T20 Torx, there is a little clip in here. All you have to do is just pull down slightly. It'll pop right out. And then we're gonna wanna pull the chrome molding out and then push it towards the front of the car. I'll show you why in one second. And that's it, we have it all out. I'm just gonna put it somewhere safe right now. Bring the camera in closer. This is why we have to pull it forward. The chrome kind of slides in here to line up with the back window chrome and it goes forward. So to remove the top one, you just have to slide it forward. Yeah. So we got the upper piece removed. We have the lower pieces removed. This chrome piece I'm going to leave in place. The uh, reason why is because the window itself needs to be removed if we're going to be removing that chrome piece. So just to avoid any water getting in and because it's only a few inches along the top and the bottom, I can really get that paint protection film in there. Everywhere else along here, along the bottom of the uh, top of the doors and the bottom of the pillar, we can wrap the film underneath. Once we put all the chrome back in, you won't be able to see that there's any film on the car. So the next step is going to be removing the side view mirror. In order to get access to the bolt safely without damaging anything, we're going to remove the panel on the front door. That way we have access to the harnesses. We can unplug the two harnesses 
and we'll be able to access the bolts. I believe it's three bolts in there to pop the mirror off and then we'll have access to the bottom of the door to wrap it, wrap it cleanly. So to remove the panel, it's gonna be very simple. We have one bolt that's gonna be hidden behind the reflector. Just pop it out with a little plastic pry tool. Try not to use any metal screwdrivers as there's, as there's risk to damage the actual reflector or the panel itself. There's two more bolts hidden by the pull handle of the door. So one's gonna be behind this little clip or behind this little, it's hidden on the top end. So we need to remove the little plastic covering to access it. The other one is gonna be underneath the light switches. So we'll just remove those bolts. Now we'll just have to remove the tweeter. Simply just push it up, use a plastic pry tool, twist it a little bit and it'll just slide right up. So now that the door is apart, what I'm gonna do is use the plastic pry tool. I taped up the painted area of the door over here just to protect the paint. What I'm gonna do is try going underneath the speaker area. Don't go too far in because obviously the speaker's there. I'm gonna take the pry tool, slide it in behind. Give it a good squeeze. And that opens up clips and just clip them all out one by one. And there's a little stubborn clip over there. So the same thing what I'll do is take a little bit of tape. Apply it here just to protect that area. Take my pry tool, slide it in behind. Where does it click? There it is. And they all release. Now, what we'll do is let me just aim it up a little bit. And we're gonna lift the door panel up and that gives us access now so the two harnesses, number one, number two, sorry, three harnesses, number three. We're going to have to undo this clip and there's going to be one bolt, two bolts, and there's one more bolt hidden behind the rubber gasket. So all I'm going to do is remove the gasket a little bit. There's little tiny plastic push clips in here. Pop them out and that'll give you access to the third bolt. We're gonna get somebody to hold the mirror on the outside and then we'll be able to remove the mirror. So what we've done now, we remove the clip, just simply pull it out. I use my little clip remover tool. There are a few clips on this rubber, so we just pop them out, lift it up, and you'll have access to this bolt right here. So we're just gonna loosen the bolts up. The mirror is going to come right out now. All right, so there we have it. We removed the lower moldings, the upper moldings, and the side view mirror off a of Tesla Model 3, and we are ready for paint protection film wrap. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe below, and I'll be posting more videos to teach you how to wrap paint protection film like a pro. Thank you.